his book, Art World Out There. Uh, since the Facebook Live isn't working with my computer for whatever reason right now, uh, I decided let's just have a conversation. Um, I'll talk a little bit about, uh, I think, some grid work. Uh, just to kind of give you guys a little insight into how that works. Um, I'm not going to take too long on this video because uh, I'm just doing it off my phone. So, but I, but I wanted to make sure I came to you today. And um, I was going to look at that uh, Henry Tanner painting that Bill sent over this morning. Beautiful little painting uh, of the banjo guy. It's called the banjo lesson. And um, and so I might do it tomorrow if we can get get back uh, big live and get back live. So <clears throat> let me go ahead and flip my phone around here. Here's a, let me see if I can show you guys this. Here's a little card that we made. This is uh, Julie out of Australia. She's one of the artists that studied here at the academy. Um, and this is our process. This is part of our process. So we go through a uh, concept storytelling uh, phase. And then we take our concepts and, and we push those concepts, first of all. And we want to get the energy and the profoundness in there. And this is where we get very, very intuitive, very organic, very esoteric, uh, right up front. And we need to get that vibe and that energy proper so that when we go through the rest of this process, we know what it is uh, the end goal is. And so then we bring it uh, through some grid work and some line strategies. And so she's developed out her design. And then once we have that line drawing from that design work, uh, then she starts planning all her values. And once she does this va value plan, then she comes over here and she does her value study. And so every little nuance, every from value to line to space is thought through and it and it's and, and each thing is thought through so that it communicates the concept from the beginning. And then she finalizes it into uh, a painting. So here here's another artist at the Academy of Composizione. This is Martin. Martin's an emerging artist out of California. And um, so again, he started with a concept of design. He wanted to focus a uh, high point of contrast up here in the, uh, up in the face and the kiss. Uh, he's a dancer, and so he wanted to do uh, the series of dancers, design them out. And so he's done a thrust map, a concept. Then he's taken that and done uh, some line work. Now this grid that you're looking at, which was the same one, Julie's, we actually created it for Julie because she did these really large square paintings. Um, and so Martin just took it as a challenge to create his design with inside the same grid uh, formatting. And so you can see how the leg is coming through, attached, you know, anchoring to the grid. And he's just uh, designed this thing out beautifully. And then we come down here and he did a, a value plan and then a value study. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh my god, that's just beautiful. Look at the, the, the delicateness of these values and how they everything works from every line, every space, every value supports the story. It's just beautiful. And then he adds a little color to finish it off and voila, it's done. And so this is, this is our process at the Academy. Um, we, there's a, two dreams I've had in the past that I've designed out using the grid system. Uh, here, let me get this here. Uh, is it, no, my light table is not plugged in. So here you can see a rectangle that I created, but on the back is a, is a bunch of grid work. And these are actually three different grids. And the reason why I, I wanted to do three different overlays was because 
as you traveled from one side of the painting to the other, and we're dealing with music, uh, there were some musicians here, and, and I wanted to sketch them out, and my thought was I wanted you to feel the, the traveling of the music, okay? And so this has one level of energy, this has another level of energy, and this has a different level of energy, and so I wanted to overlap them all and have you go from this intense noise and then something a little lighter and then uh, something very uh, much more quiet, much more quiet tour. And in terms of the grids, we have different grids that we work with. Uh, you can see on my wall, we have blown up these very large grids. These are 36 by 36, so each square has its own configuration. Hey, Ed. And so, um, there's a whole bunch of little sketches and things for a book. This is a, um, um, a piece that I'm working on that we're going to have to make some different changes. And so these are the, you can see the different vibrations in all these big grids. So these grids are actually what we call uh, the square grids. And uh oh, my battery's going to die here in a second, so I'm going to hurry up with this video. And then this is what we call our solo grids. Okay, so that's the main uh, armature and, and, and grid format that we are using. And then if we want to break it up and get really, really detailed, we can use what we call our matrix grid. And that's going to allow us to actually draft out and compose out all the little details and nuances and keep the integrity of the rectangle. Um, so what we do is when we're drawing and designing, we want to try to limit the amount of line rectangle that we're composing in.